$300 every month, 150 bucks a paycheck, and we're gonna automate it to the separate account. If you promise to do that, and you do that for eight years, you'll never have to invest again and you'll be financially set for life. This thing goes, come on, dad. Eight years, three hundred dollars a month. What is that? If he does the math, he goes, "That's over eight years, twenty-eight thousand eight hundred dollars. Twenty-eight thousand eight hundred. How's that going to do anything? Especially if I don't add any more money after twenty-seven years old." He goes, "Let me show you, son. Market's gone up ten percent over thirty years. Let's apply a lower number. Let's do eight percent. Be conservative. Let me show you what the numbers are when they compound. You know how much he has when he retires? One point eight million dollars, and all he put in was twenty-eight thousand. Listen and pay attention. Listen and pay attention." I have a mentor. His name is Richard Fang. I posted one of his videos on my page the other day. I gave him a shout out, showed him some love. He nearly 60 years old now. He started investing into index funds, like what he's talking about, when he was like 20 something years old. Excuse me. On average, index funds average around 10% return. On average, it averages around a 10% return of your money. And then it compounds. Compound interest, and then it compounds. So if you have money to spare, if you got money left over, if you're spending, you know, let's just say you're spending four, five hundred dollars a month just on bullshit. You may be spending four, five hundred dollars a month on whatever, right? Stuff that don't make you no money, stuff that just just you just playing around with it. I'm doing it. I've been doing this, and I'm gonna continue to do it. What I would do if I was y'all. Go open up y'all a Vanguard account or go to one of these little brokers account. Open up your stock, um, a broker's account and go invest into some index funds. It's 200 a month, 300 a month, one, whatever you can afford. Go and start putting that money up and just don't even think about it. Let that money just compound interest over time. Richard, this is my mentor, Richard Fang. He told me. That he did this when he, when he, when he was 20 some years old, all right up until he was in his 40s. You know, on top of, he's still, you know, investing into real estate. He's still a businessman. He still got businesses. But he just did this on some just, you know, this money he put away that's just going to just make money for me without me having to do nothing. I mean, he looked up. He was a multi-millionaire. His broker's account had millions on millions on millions. So he blew his mind. So what I'm saying, y'all, we got some extra money laying around. Go open up your broker's account. I have a Vanguard account. Go open up your broker's account. Put that money in there, 300 a month. Like he's saying, eight years. Then after eight years, stop putting money in. Let that money just compound. Then you look up, you'll be a millionaire by the time you want to retire. On top of continue doing what you're doing now. Like continue to invest your money into real estate. Continue to invest your money in your companies. But hold on, hold on. Let me show y'all something. So just uh, just to show y'all that I'm not gassing y'all about the um, annual returns on the in on index funds, as y'all can see, the average return is around 10.26 percent since the 1957 up up until 2023. How many years is that? How many years is that? Almost 100 years. So from 1957, 1957. To 2023, the index fund averaged 10.2% on your money annually. What y'all think Warren Buffett and Bill Gates and Jeff Bezos and Elon Musk? What y'all why y'all think they getting why y'all think they all got stocks and shares and all this? We gotta get in the game, y'all. It ain't hard to do. We blow money all the time on the dumb shit. Jordans. Traveling, food, liquor, weed, drugs, haircuts. I mean, we we blow that. We 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 piss three hundred dollars a month. Start putting it into an index fund and watch it um, compound and watch it gain interest.